It's a very Welsh day in Tawen, a town on the west coast of Wales, better known for its sheep, old slate quarries, and a steam railway that was the inspiration behind Thomas the Tank Engine. But I'm here today to find out about a cutting edge new technology with the potential to revolutionise the world of cooling and potentially improve the lives of millions of people around the globe. Shorechill is a local startup that makes fridges that can run for up to 40 days without power. Its first big idea is to solve the problem of distributing children's vaccines in parts of the developing world, where patchy electricity can make it hard to keep vital medicines at a steady temperature. Billions of dollars are spent every year on supplying vaccines to help eradicate disease throughout the developing world. But clever new vaccines are not good enough unless they can also be kept at regular temperature. And in the developing world, there's a problem with power. Power supplies, if they exist at all, will be erratic. The short shield technology deals with this because the short shield technology allows a refrigerator to take power when power is available, but then keeps the refrigerator and its contents at a safe, regular temperature, even without power. In fact, the short shield refrigerator designed for vaccines will keep vaccines exactly at the right temperature for 10 days or more without power. Shortchill's technology uses water's unique property of being heaviest at 4 degrees centigrade, fortunately the perfect level for storing many foods and medicines. The fridges consist of a hollow chamber with a block of ice at the top and water underneath. The ice functions like a battery, made by using solar or intermittent power. As the warmer water rises, it comes into contact with the ice and cools, making the liquid sink to the bottom again. The cycle keeps all the fluid at a constant 4 degrees, something that not even traditional electric fridges can do reliably. Chief scientist Ian Tansley came up with the idea wandering around a frozen lake in North Wales. Shortchill technology uses the unique property of water, which is that it's heaviest at 4 degrees centigrade. So if you put water into a vessel and ice into a vessel, the, the ice will float and the water underneath it will be at 4 degrees centigrade exactly. This idea came to me when I was walking around looking at the scenery and saw a frozen lake and I thought what's happening underneath that there's obviously water underneath the, the ice but there's ice on the top and so the ice is keeping that water underneath at exactly four degrees centigrade and we can use this to store vital vaccines and food so we test the technology here in our test labs we've got six chambers that we can test up to 43 degrees centigrade very high ambient temperatures and what we're constantly surprised by is how resilient the technology is. Shorechill has received more than one million dollars from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and made over 1,000 units at its lab in Wales this year. It has also signed a licensing agreement with a big Indian fridge manufacturer with the aim of selling vaccine fridges to the government and developing wine and drink coolers for the country's burgeoning middle classes. And Shorechill's small but committed team is convinced of the benefits of working amid the beautiful hills of rural Wales. I just finished university and I heard about the Shorechill company through a recruitment company. Uh, I came here and was massively interested in the company and what they were trying to do and fill in a gap in the cold chain. It's been a big change moving from Glasgow, big city, to the countryside, but it's actually really cool living here and I, I'm doing things like mountain biking and hill walking that I never did before, so it's actually a really interesting area and lots to do. While Shorechill's power-free fridge has promise, the company will have to grapple with the device's greater weight compared with conventional fridges, which could somewhat limit its appeal for consumers. Sally Davies, Financial Times, North Wales.